It's time for the Sandbox news. This week we have new facial features, updates to the new audio systems. VR now has haptic support, and there are a couple new updates to the tools. There are some minor changes to construct. Here we can see there's new plants, whoa! Now if you've ever been outside, you'll know there's these green things outside. They're called plants, it's uh, foliage. And construct has received some of those now. So there are some bushes in the parking lot. There are also a couple new signs, for example, this parking lot sign. And there's also this sign here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it means. I'm not British, I think. This might be a no parking symbol. So no parking anytime on Verge. Uh, I don't actually know what a Verge is. I assume the Verge might be this little island here. Although I might be totally wrong. I have no idea. There are a couple new facial features, including beard stubble, graffiti, freckles, eyeliner, and some others. Here we can see the graffiti. It says, wait, it says Kale. I thought that said Katie. Um, I just realized I was recording on the wrong settings. I hope the video didn't look too laggy before. Anyways, this says Kale on its face. So Kale's like a plant. There's also a, a triangle with an eye, like a medicine symbol, uh, veggie. So yeah, this guy's really into plants and vegetables. Maybe he's like a vegetarian. And up here you can see it says angel. I'm inside the appearance editor now and we can toggle these on and off. So this is the stubble, this is the eyeliner, this is the facial tattoos, and these are the freckles. There are three new haircuts the fade and balding hair. So this balding hair comes in brown and gray. In addition to all this, there is a new hat, a baseball cap. So we can see this baseball cap is for the Lobsters Racing Team. And on the bottom it says Rat RM something. I can't really read that. Very crazy. There are some updates to virtual reality. The big one is we now have haptic support for VR. I'll show it off here. So I'm in virtual reality now, and if I shoot the gun, you can see the controller is vibrating because of the new haptic support. So that'll be a huge game changer. We'll be able to actually have haptic feedback in VR. The audio systems have got a lot of work done to them. I believe there are new distortion effects if you're underwater. So here's what it sounds like shooting a gun now. And if I go underwater, oh yeah, it definitely sounds a lot more muffled, like you're under the ocean floor. There are some new developer tools for sounds as well. This has actually been in for a couple weeks, but I can now make a placeholder sound effect by recording a sound with my voice. So uh, I click record a new sound. Do I have to hold it down? Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Do I have to, how does this work? Um, maybe I just can't figure this out, but it doesn't seem to actually work right now. So this would be useful for making a placeholder sound effect with your voice, instead of having to find a sound asset and download it just for a placeholder. There's also a new tool to test 3D sound effects. So if I click somewhere on the circle, it's really quiet. I have to turn on my volume a lot to hear it. Now, if you have headphones on, you can probably hear a difference. This is a spatial audio test. I think this is like the Rust SMG shooting sound. And you can hear the firing sound coming from different directions. So very useful, very cool. The Steam Valve audio systems are also being worked on. Here we can see a clip from Gary Newman where he's testing different rooms with different reverb settings. You don't have to go through and manually change the settings for each room. Instead, all this is baked automatically when you compile the map. And it makes everything sound way more realistic. So previously, we didn't have this at all, and sound wasn't blocked by walls or anything. So it was really hard to tell where things were coming from. But with the new Steam audio systems, it sounds great. We actually could bake audio before. However, it wasn't set up properly, so it sounded all weird and glitched out. There are a couple updates to the hammer editor. So if you press shift Z, you can toggle full screen on your current view that you have open. So this works with the 2D views and it also works for the object inspector. Although actually no, it doesn't seem to work with ours. Anyways, there's a new feature. So if I press control shift Z, uh, no, it's alt shift Z. So this is so cool. Uh, I think it would be better on Control shift z I think that makes more sense as a hotkey. Alt-Shift-Z is kind of weird. But if I press it, you can see it takes me to full screen, full screen mode. 
And I can also toggle my 2D views if I want to. So this will be very useful for people with smaller monitors. I don't think I'll be using this very often because I have a large display, but you can see it adds so much usability for your hammer screen. I think you could actually get away with doing a quad view and moving your views like this. Uh, I don't know if I would use that, but it's a possibility now. Also, the map compiler now looks different. So you can see the compile window has all the settings on the left side, and then the compile log is on the right. So this will be very useful, again, for anyone that has a smaller display, because previously you needed to have a 1440p or bigger display if you wanted to actually like use this properly. They added the scroll wheel a while ago, because without the scroll wheel, this compile window was actually almost completely unusable for anyone with a 1080p or smaller display. Now, 1080p is still like the standard display size, so it's really weird that Valve uh, never noticed this. Maybe everyone at Valve has a 1440p or 4K display, so it just slipped by. But we can see it's a lot better now. I think the only other quality of life feature that this map builder window could use is the ability to actually be minimized. Currently, if you only have one display and you wanna keep working on your map while it compiles, you have to drag your window down here. And I don't know, it just feels like a bit of a hack instead of just being able to minimize it. Well, that's it. That's all the sandbox news. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you to my Patreon supporters.